Hello everybody. Uh, I'm here today to review this Badland winch, the 2,500 pound um, from Harbor Freight. Um, I've had it for a couple weeks now I've had it and I've used it uh, just on my plow so far to plow the driveway. Um, I guess right off the bat the only thing I will say is that for me, um, I guess this is just this is just um, for the mount that I had, but um, the mount that the cable guide mounts to, um, the cable guide with the Badland winch, the cable guide was too small, so I had to just order a different cable guide off of Amazon. Um, but other than that, everything bolted up nice. It was really easy to wire. Um, and it comes with this, um, like a Bluetooth remote here. Um, I don't even have to have the wheeler on, which is kind of cool. Um, and to use it, you know, it's not going to work if I just touch it. But you hold the, the on-off button for three seconds, two seconds. And then uh, and then you can have full access to the winch. I believe it's up to, uh, it's like 20 or 40 feet, I believe. Um, uh, I'm not sure. But nonetheless, I'm sure you can see it on the box, but I'm trying to try to keep this video short and sweet. Um, yeah, so, and what's nice is this remote um, will stay on for two minutes, um, and then it'll automatically shut off to, you know, save battery and whatnot, um, which is really convenient because for snow plowing, at least, if you got a wheeler and you use a plow or some attachment frequently, uh, it never shuts off on me, so it stays on for the right amount of time when I'm plowing. Um, and for me, I don't know if the newer wheelers or different kind of wheelers. This is just 2003 Honda 4 Mini S. Um, it's got a nice kind of flat part on the, uh, the uh, shift and light switch. And I just put Velcro on the back of this thing. And it fits really nicely on the handlebar, which is really convenient to you know when i'm not shifting um this is kind of in the way but if you zip tie it up to a, around here which i'm gonna do then it'll be out of the way and whatever but or just take it off if you don't use the keychain thing um but it's really convenient to shift and you know usually i'll be standing if i want to turn around just so i can you know look and it's easy to use the thumbs and whatnot and still be on the hand grips you don't have to let off and play with the thing over here so i mean i think it's faster than you know a typical um switch that's mounted over here with winches so i like that and then obviously and then to turn it off you just also hold the on off button for a few seconds but um i guess the insulation is easy i mean it's got the uh um ability to uh, release the cable tension so you can walk it out by hand or obviously the remote I believe will go all the way out to the end of the winch's length. Um, I guess the only thing that I've seen go wrong with these Badland winches, at least the 2500, um, is when people um, use them to about the full capacity, about the full 2500 pounds, the, the spool will actually snap is what I've seen. But I don't foresee myself using near full capacity. I mean, I'm, I mud sometimes, but it's hard on shit. And, you know, I'm working in the summer, so I won't have a ton of time to want to work on anything. But I know it's going to break anyways. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, it's got... The, I got I just put the rope on it or whatever. It comes with the kit. Um, It's got a nice hook. Obviously, it's heavy-duty enough. Um, a nice cable. Uh... It's, it's nice and tidy and you know it looks looks good and it sneaks away back there and you know just like any other winch and you know it uh it's done good for me so far i mean i've used it quite a bit and it's uh you know i've had the plow kind of stuck in some ice and it's pulled the wheeler down pretty damn good i mean i guess the only thing i can say is that it's a little louder than um you know higher um, higher end winches, um, I guess if, I guess I don't care at all, because, I mean, the wheeler's running, it's kind of loud, and whoop de doo if it's, you know, loud, but just to kind of give you an idea, you know.
So, I mean, kind of gives you an idea, I guess. You know, it's not in person, but... Um, so, it's a little bit louder than, you know, a higher-end winch. But with the coupon, it's 50 bucks on sale. It was $50 for this winch. I have never seen a winch cheaper. So, I mean, it's literally the cheapest winch you can get. Um, and the cables were nice. I mean, it's good quality and... <clears throat> um, let's just show you quick here. I kind of just routed it under the plastics. I had all the plastics off, but I routed it here, zip tied it to the frame, and uh, there's a little rubbish right there. I'll I'll figure out better ways, but then I just came back here, kind of zip tied it um, to the back, and then you know just put it on the uh, battery terminals there. But I mean, other than that, I mean, it stays pretty tidy and everything, and you know, easy to access if I need to get it out of the way or. You know, in general, it's not in the way at all, and they give you they give you a perfect amount of cable, I'd say. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a good winch. I definitely recommend it, um, unless you are like a hardcore mutter guy and you go out with a bunch of dudes and you have, you know, huge ass wheelers, and you know you got side by sides or something too that you're pulling out, or you just go and get super stuck. Um, that's the only thing I would say not to get the, at least don't get the 2,500 pound one, maybe get the heavier duty one. Um, but then again, I don't know if that would fit, um, under your frame and whatnot, but for everything, if you're going to, you know, every day and like just, uh, you know, if you're throttling and using winch at the same time, trying to get your wheeler out, you know, I believe it'll, it'll serve you as a good winch. I, I definitely... You know, I spent the money on this because I knew it was going to be everything I needed it to do and for a good price. I, I guess I don't have any concerns with it going out, um, but I will keep you updated. Um, if you have any other questions, just leave a comment. But, yeah, there she is, Badland Winch, 2,500 pounds. <laughs>